Federal officials announced Arizona and Nevada will face another round of cuts to their water supply this week. And it's because of bleak water levels in the Colorado River in those states. Now, in fact, several parts of the country have had to take unprecedented steps just to save water because of the ongoing drought. As KXN's Grace Reader explains, the city of Austin is trying to proactively protect our water supply. If this were a hurricane, we will call it a category five. That's how a former government climatologist and UT professor describes Texas's drought right now. That's why he and other researchers are working with local governments to make sure when it comes to water, there's a plan. Texas is recognizing it is getting battered by both the extremes. For the city of Austin, it's called Water Forward, and it looks at the next century. The idea for Water Forward came out of the last drought that we experienced from 2000 to 2016. We learned a lot from that drought. The plan accounts for Austin's rapid growth, and while many water plans in Texas disregard climate change, the city of Austin's does not. Our region will continue to see droughts, and the future droughts will be more severe. Earlier this year, Austin Water unveiled a pilot black water system at one of its buildings. It allows them to both filter rainwater to be used for outdoor landscaping and also filter wastewater so it can be reused in urinals and toilets. We are uh, anticipating that this building will be able to offset 75 percent of its potable water demand by using these non-potable supplies. In 2010, Austin City Council directed Austin Water to cut down water usage. Roughly a decade later, Austin Water's total water pumpage fell to the lowest level in two decades. If you plan for it, we are going to weather this one out as well. Grace Reader, KXAN News. Well, starting in December 2023, all large developments in the city of Austin will be required to have a water reuse system like the city is piloting at its building now. That city version saves tens of thousands of gallons of drinking water a day. The state comptroller's office estimates within the next 50 years, Texas's water needs will jump by 87 percent. Now that's directly tied to the increasing demand from municipal water systems expected to rise more than 500 percent by 2070. And with the concerns over water supply, KXAN is now in partnership with the political website The Hill. We're taking a closer look at these issues in a new series called Dried Up. You can check it out now on KXAN.com. Just click on the future of Texas water under the news tab on the home page. Austin City Council could increase their salaries by nearly 40%. The council has an updated base salary since 2006. The city has adjusted pay for council members and the mayor for cost of living changes. But this ordinance would mean the mayor would go from nearly $98,000 a year to over 134,000. Council members would go from 83,000 a year to more than 116,000.